This is Sunset Bob at the Sunset Transit Center with Channel 6 News. Today reporting on the TriMet driver's employee benefits and what's been said. Uh, first we'd like to point out that uh, health care benefits should be for everyone and the uh, rising cost of health care itself is a problem that's not so much uh, the TriMet employees problem or TriMet's problem but it's a it's a worldwide uh, well it's a problem here in the United States in particular the greed with doctors and hospitals and so forth has risen health care costs way beyond what it should be and it's just not a TriMet problem and I'm sure in the uh, latest contract negotiations there are going to be some give and take on that but as the administration the Obama administration and everyone's working on this problem they know that this is something out of control should not be just pinned to uh, the drivers uh, cushy benefits uh, the eyeglass uh, uh, coverage you know uh, free eyeglasses, well, you know, you can get free eyeglasses $2 a pair at, at Rite Aid. So, uh, if you want a decent pair of glasses, though, you have to pay. I mean, I every time I go to the eye doctor, I pay at least 100 to 200 bucks. So, um, as far as other type of uh, coverages and our health benefits, uh, uh, someone mentioned uh, plastic surgery or cosmetic surgery. There's That's all farce, you know. If that was happening, my wife would have had a breast uh, 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 you know, breast uh, reduction, breast uh, implants, uh, and none of that stuff is covered. I'm sorry, I may be getting left field there, but we have basic coverage, it's good, and uh, we work hard for that type of coverage, but they're, the news has exaggerated that. As far as what can help TriMet its cost reduction and why it's in the whole $31 million is uh, not so much just because of the whole employee's benefits, though that has to be negotiated. It has to do with uh, things we didn't see. The banking problem caused uh, unemployment to rise. That, uh, that hurt uh, worldwide, that hurt uh, here in the United States and all agencies. That set us back a few million. And uh, the West debacle, we didn't know we'd have to fish out uh, the manufacturers. We didn't know that it wasn't going to be that much of a ridership. So uh, that that set us back 22 million. So you take that 22 million plus the, the less of the unemployment, you know, which is 13 million, and you'll see that the 31 million altogether we're behind on could have been solved by that. It had nothing to do with health healthcare costs or wages. Another problem we've had was, of course, expanding light rail a little too fast and not making it secure, and that's cost us money, tons of money. Now, if we had known that uh, this age, this problem would have happened with gas prices as well as the banking problem, we probably wouldn't have expanded light rail so much. We probably would have, you know, just invested more in buses. Same with West, we probably would have put more buses out instead of that huge amount of money for a West, which uh, is turning to be a big white elephant. So the problem with saving with West as well as light rail we'd actually be um, in doing very well we'd actually be ahead I don't have all the exact figures you know we can't get to that but looks like from my figures I'm looking at the West debacle and, and saving money there with light rail uh, the the unemployment uh, being high so our payroll taxes are, are less and of course we uh, we did some betting on the gas prices when they were high now we have to pay that back so you put all those factors together and what we're coming up with, we would be in the good at $62 million. And so none of this bankruptcy and the driver's benefits would ever be uh, talked about. But you can't predict the future, you know. And we're into mass transit. We're into uh, helping the disadvantaged and the poor and, and saving the planet, making it green. So you know you got to plan ahead, think ahead, and um, make cities livable and, and congestion and pollution. So uh, with all that in mind, you know, we may have moved forward a little too quickly but we couldn't predict these things. Uh, please uh, do not blame TriMet totally or their uh, contract with the union. The contract with the union and, and the rising soar of health care costs has nothing to do with TriMet's woes and, uh, and the taxpayers themselves. This is Sunset Bob reporting live on what the true state of affairs with TriMet is. See you later, Jessica.